And spawning in the next creation, um, I'm not too sure this is meant to be a crane lifting cargo challenge. Hello everyone, my name is Mr. N Jersey and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are back with part two of the final of the community build challenge. Two weeks ago, I challenged you, the community, to build the most epic and awesome cargo handler that you could here in Stormworks. Now we've already checked out the first five, we're going to be checking out the second five of those top 10 creations in this video. But before we get started, if you're enjoying this video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and ring the little bell icon to be notified from upcoming content as soon as it gets posted. And while you're watching, let me know your thoughts in the comments below and what else you'd like to see in my future videos. That all said, let's get straight into it and get started with this video. And moving on to the first creation of part two is we have the Volvo container handler by Fedric. Now this looks really cool. I love the design of this and how he's used these triangle tracks. I think this looks really cool and very interesting. Uh, let's go and jump on it. Let's see what we have and how it actually works. So we can jump into the driver's seat uh, and we have parking brake, lights, I'm guessing heater back there, key switch turn on, warning beacons. Okay, we'll turn this off just to help the lag. But I'm guessing we just uh, go forwards. Okay, that's pretty cool. Oh, this is quick. Stop, stop. Wow. Okay. Um, that is very quick. <laughs> Forwards, reverse, up and dance. Let's bring this up. Um, can we... Ooh. Wow, that's so quick. Can we... Left and right is in and out. Oh, that's quite nice that you can bring it in and out and then we can do up and down oh up and down the pitch oh that's pretty cool so let's go and up so then we can bring it like this and then he's also got pitch which is over here oops okay so that's the counterweighted and then we should be able to turn interesting how we turn this so let's put it in reverse oh that's cool how it turns like that let's put it in forward mode that is really cool. I love how the front goes and turns there and actually turns the crane at the same time. So now we should be able to, let's see. So let's do pitch and yep, pitch is fine. Then we do in out, which is left and right. And then, oh, we, oh, ever so slightly tilting. You can see that now it's maximum extended. Let's bring it down before we tip it. That is really cool. A really nice design on that one. Uh, we can bring it, let's bring it up and down, so two, and then let's go and reverse it here. That is a really cool design. I love that design there, it's so quick. If anything, I would recommend just changing the gears on this because it's so quick and it's, it's a, you know, when you're doing such, you know, minute little details with cargo, I don't like seeing a little bit slow or even just a gear mode. Um, but wow, that is really cool. And I actually didn't see the detail he's got at the back here. But that looks really quite nice. Definitely a nice creation. Let's go and move on to the next one. And spawning in the next creation. Um, this was submitted by Exploderize. And I'm not too sure this is meant to be a crane lifting cargo challenge. Um, and this is a camper van, so I'm quite interested to see what's gonna happen. Um, activate crane? Oh, okay. That makes a lot more sense now. <laughs> um, okay. I still <laughs> don't know how we're gonna do this. Um, <laughs> but okay let's go and deactivate this and let's can how do we even deactivate this um is there a button somewhere i'm sure these there was a button um <laughs> where is the switch to deactivate this i think it's down here somewhere that's a battery there we go oh that wasn't too happy There we go. 
Okay, it seems like it's still a little bit wonky up there, but let's get into this camper van. Uh, door... Ignition was already on. This is so interesting. I don't even know what to say. Um, the camper van drives really well. Uh, let's just see if we can actually reverse it in here. Um, is there a reverse or is it just... Oh, uh, it's automatic. Okay, cool. Okay, so we should be able to bring it... I'm thinking about... Oh, no. That was a little bit off. Let's try and... Bring it to about there. And let's... No, that other direction. I'm not good with my reversing skills here. So, that way. Yes. Okay, and then we should be able to just bring it... Back ever so slightly. Okay, and let's bring it back now. And I think that should be good. Yeah. Put parking brake on. Okay, so let's see how this goes. Um, it's going to be quite interesting. Activate it. Okay, we've activated it. Uh, let's get inside here. We have. Extend container mount, okay. Uh, reset, disable, disable. Okay, so we can lift it and rotate it. We can move it out and we can rotate the piece. So that's pretty good, actually. Uh, is there any winches or no? So, no winches. So, okay, interesting how I'm gonna reach that, but we'll see. Okay, and we can extend the container mounts. Yep, there we go. And can we bring it down? Yeah, we can. I guess that was quite simple, actually. How well is it going to lift now is the question here. Oh, come on. So, you can hear these maggles going on and off. But I can't seem to get this to lift. Ooh. Those are definitely connected. The maggles are definitely connected underneath it. You can see the maggles underneath there. So that's extent. Turn left and right. But up and down, we cannot go up and down here. So we can disconnect, we can reset, but I'm actually going to just disconnect the container. So you can see it can go up and down. We can definitely go up and down with that. I'm going to try and... Can we push it up now? So it just won't go up here. You can see that if we... I'm guessing if we try and bring it in maybe. I can't get that to go up. I can try. Just try and... Brute force it. But it almost feels like the... Okay, we are up now. What if we try to extend? Extend. So the more I extend, the more obviously it drops. Okay, there we go. I'm just going to try and brute force it. <laughs> okay, theoretically, theoretically he has made it on there. So I'm just going to disconnect the container. <laughs> Theoretically, he's made it on there. What a what a creation. Um, it there, yeah. Theoretically, it did it. So, <laughs> what a creation. Let's go and move on to the next one. And moving on to the next creation, we have the case by President Donald Trump. Uh, now, looks pretty cool. A uh, nice little paint scheme. Obviously, I don't like the paint blocks he's gonna use. Very real. Um, so pretty cool. Obviously, it looks very similar to one of the other cranes that we checked out in part one. Let's just close the door. Nice job. Ignition, exterior beacon lights, uh, road mode, boom in and out, claw camera, ISO, claws, batteries, throttles. Cool. Okay. So we can actually go and move it there. Pretty straightforward so far. Turning, it looks like it's okay with turning. Okay, we need to get this up now. So boom up and down. Okay, so that's fine. Uh, left and right, rotate, boom, in and out. So, boom, out. Cool. 
and we can rotate it a bit move forward a bit okay and then we need to get the we actually need to extend that so let's see where is options here so ISO select there we go is that maybe one more no that's too far out okay so let's do 27 move the crane ever so slightly to the right here okay and then we should be able to bring the boom down so actually we need to rotate that there we go so boom down and let's bring the boom okay so actually wait hold on we're already connected cool so let's go and bring this up now okay so we are up let's do boom out can we rotate this at the same time or oh, actually hold on we shouldn't be able to rotate the whole boom actually let's go and put it here stop it okay so it seems like it's rotating the tracks at the same time but that's fine got it there let's do boom down yeah pretty straightforward nice and we can do release and then boom up forwards yeah and really nice very smooth very nice and easy to operate he's done a good job with that one looks really cool too i haven't checked out that back area i'm guessing the engine oh, can i stop this turn off um <laughs> let's go and, uh okay i'm now stuck in, inside this window uh, okay there we go i want to see what's on the back there so there's a room in the back principal sign okay so it looks like we've got some engines and things we can override the engines in here cool Okay, this looks really nice. Um, really cool creation. Let's go and move on to the next one. And moving on to the next one, we have a truck done by Lysa. Now, this is the first actual truck that we've seen for this challenge, which is pretty cool. Um, it looks really nice. It's got nice little detailing on this. Looks like it's obviously got its supports there. Um, but overall, yeah, it looks very clean. Just looks like it's just gonna work really nicely. So let's jump in inside. Let's see. Crane controls, are they? I'm guessing they're in the cab, okay. So, okay, so we have crane controls here and then we actually have the driver over there. So, master parking brakes, I'm guessing this is on already? It is too, okay, cool. So let's go and just drive it up next to container here, or try to. Okay, it looks like it's a electric, like a diesel electric drive system. So we're just going to drive it up here. We're going to touch that a bit. Okay, let's get parking brakes on. Uh, hello, parking brakes. Okay, I'm guessing parking brakes are on now. Yes, they are. Okay, cool. So now we're in here, we can go and get into the crane operator. And let's see how this is gonna work. So we need to first get our connector. So let's see, so we got stow, so that's unstow. So I just pressed one, it's now doing its own thing. Crane looks really cool though. Okay, you can see our supports are going out. I'm guessing they're gonna get locked on in a few seconds. Okay, I'm guessing the supports are locked. Okay, uh, so we should be able to move this crane. Ooh, that looks pretty cool. Uh, we can do extend. Okay, let's bring it down. We'll get connected there to the supports here. Okay, so I'm guessing that's connected now. Yep. Okay, so let's bring it up. Okay, we need to release the connectors. There we go. And then we can bring it around. Can we rotate? Yeah, we can. Look at that. We can rotate it just like that. And we can bring it in. Cool. We can bring it down. Get the other side connected. Cool. Uh, we can bring it out. We can bring it up at the same time. Ooh. Those maggles don't seem like they're on. Okay, let's try again. So let's try and... Can we lift it? Ooh. Come on. You want to lift? So... Come on, lift. It's just moving the truck. 
so that's up. Can we try and get the truck up? Can we try and get this crane up now? Just, just, just lifted it. I don't know what else I can do here to get that lifted. Tried rotating it. Come on. Maybe we can just brute force it. It just seems like it doesn't have enough power to lift it. Come on. Up. Almost. Come on. Yeah, it just doesn't seem like it's got enough power to lift it there. So maybe this is going to be the first one that we can't we can't actually lift with. I guess it is. I can't think of anything else. We can do flatbed connectors, but that doesn't do anything. We've got release adapter. So those are the adapter connectors that we just released. So yeah, it looks like we are unable to do this one. Um, pity though, I would have thought it would have done it, but maybe I did something wrong. But you guys, let me know in the comments below. See, let me know if you guys can get this to lift this this Pacific weight container. Um, yeah, I just don't know what happened, but oh, well, it's still a really cool creation. I love the idea. Uh, let's go and move on to the next creation. And spawning in the last creation done by TT. This is a very interesting one. Of course, it is don't really know how this thing is quite balanced i'm guessing there is a weight system here at the back um, but you can see there is only wheels on either side this is very interesting very very interesting very cool let's check this out let's see how this is gonna work um so i'm guessing we go in here we get inside the seats can we close the door oh it's closed itself okay uh we got huh? okay we went up a bit uh we can go forwards we can look at that okay we can move ourselves forwards still trying to understand how this thing is keeping itself level and i'm guessing it's a weight system at the back but um let's go and get this container let's see if we can actually bring this up onto onto the ship here so we can just move forwards i'm guessing oh hold on let's get the raise oops now i want to raise that okay and then let's move forward a bit Okay, let's lower it. Oops, no, it looks like we've got it stuck on the connector there. So let's bring it up. Let's bring it back ever so slightly. No, other way. <laughs> okay. Um, let's try and bring it forwards and now down. Okay. Can we get the K okay. magnets? Okay, so the magnets are on. So we've got it on. Can we bring it up? Oh, yep, you can see it's leveling itself with those batteries at the back. It's trying, it's trying. Switch to the side. Oh my, it's still extending itself. I'm gonna go all the way to the heart. Okay, I'm gonna stop there. Let's be fair to it. It's still extending itself though. Uh, let's rotate this. This is very interesting. What? Okay, let's go. I like the spotlights also, those are really cool. Where's the switch though for them? Um, oh, two. There we go. Spotlights are cool. And he's done it. Well, okay, I'm gonna stop, stop, stop. Okay, let's lower this thing. There is no, it doesn't look like there's an extend option, um, but there is definitely can, obviously, you can see there, it can definitely go and put it there. So we can go and do that, put magnets off, uh, up again, and then reverse. This is so cool and so interesting. <laughs> so interesting um he's done a great job with this very very interesting what is off what is what does off mean so i'm guessing it's just off meaning it's doesn't it's not connected to anything yeah so magnets off what a cool interesting creation something i've never ever seen here to this extent really cool let me know in the comments what you guys think of this one um but yeah so we checked out the top 10 now it's time to actually find a winner 
So we've gone and spawned in a few of the creations. Unfortunately, we can't spawn all of them in at the same time uh, because there's so many things going on here. Now, of course, it's time to pick a winner of this challenge and everyone hit the brief. Uh, unfortunately, there was only one creation that couldn't make it uh, and actually pull it on, but the rest of them did make it. I was really shocked with this camper van. Um, <laughs> I don't know what he was thinking, uh, but it's still it's a good laugh um really good job with the camper van but all the creations are really cool um i think if i was to narrow it down to my two favorites out of the whole lot would probably be these two just over here on the left the volvo and also the industrial tt lifter both of these are really cool i thought the first little volvo volvo there um had a really interesting design it worked really really well but, uh, and I still think also that TT's done a great job, especially with that balancing of the crane there. It's also, he's counterbalanced it, which is really smart in how he's actually built that. And of course, now it's time to decide and crown a winner for this little challenge. And I think it's gonna have to go to TT for this one. It's such an unusual and interesting and mind bending creation that i think it deserves to win um and definitely second place up to the volvo there i think it was an absolutely incredible all the creations were they all really were really impressive and i can't believe what you guys have managed to put through for this for this challenge so that brings it to the end of this challenge obviously there will be another one very shortly we have got version one coming out very soon so definitely keep an eye out for all the content related to version one uh and as always thank you very much everyone for submitting your own creations for this challenge uh definitely be proud of every single one of them they were absolutely incredible and as always i hope you have enjoyed this video and found some entertaining and informative as always and we'll see you in the next one